Then, among the harder jobs in politics, Home Secretary comes pretty high up. Endless crisis management, not much good news. Now issues about migrant work, surveillance and terror are in the headlines, but so too are Jackie Smith's parliamentary expenses. She's currently under investigation by a parliamentary watchdog over claims that she wrongly claimed expenses for her sister's home in London. Home Secretary, welcome. Good morning, Andrew. Where is home? Well, one of the things about being an MP is that you actually have to have two homes. I mean, perhaps if I can explain... But, but, the... but surely home means something to you. Where is, I mean, it, it's a simple question, in a sense, where is home? Well, let me tell you, because I think it's right that I explain the background to this, the decisions I've had to make over the last 11 years. When I was elected to Parliament in 1997, I realised that if I was going to do my job properly, I was going to have to live in two places. I was going to have to have effectively two homes. I started actually living with my sister then, and I've lived with her for most of the last 11 years. When I became a minister, I sat down with my husband and I said, well, should we, as I know, know I'm going to be spending most of my time in London, should we move our children to London? But they were in school, they'd got friends, they were settled, so we actually decided that we would effectively split the family home from the, t place, the place where I was going were... to have to spend the most time, that is the which kind is of, in London. That is the kind of dilemma that lots of MPs face, yeah. but the way that you claim uh, for your accommodation means that you make more money, if I can put it that way, by claiming for the London home than if you said that your Redditch home was your main home. What I'm putting to you that is in, in common sense parlance, your home, home is Redditch. It's where your children are, it's where your husband is. Well, because I understand that that's the way that people may well see it, mm -hmm. I actually took advice from the House of Commons authorities and I said, look, I can see that people would say, actually my main home is where my children live, even though I'm a minister, I spend more time in London, and of course up until 2004 there wasn't a choice at all about which you chose as your main home. And the parliamentary authorities actually came back to me and they said, well, it isn't where your children live, it's where, for example, you spend the majority of your time. Now, I'm the Home Secretary, it's not surprising that I spend most of my time in and London. Can I, can and incidentally, can I, can I Andrew, just to be clear, I don't claim the money for the home in London. I claim for... Yes, I did, yeah. indeed. But um, to be absolutely clear about this, you spend more days in the year living in your sister's spare room than you do in, in your family home? Um, I've spent more time in London, yeah, and let's just be clear about this. But that's it's absolutely uh, crucial because be... that's, what the, that's what the rules insist uh, on. You uh, must spend exactly. more days in that house than you do in Reddit. Yes, and, and I that's, do. And that's definitely the yes. case because your yeah. neighbours, as you know, some of your neighbours say that's not true. There's several things that people have said, and, and just to, to sort of cover some of these, I don't live in my sister's spare room. I, I share a house with my sister, as I have done for most of the time uh, since I was elected in 1997. And, you know, people have made complaints, and they and newspapers have, have made various allegations, like, for example, I di didn't spend Christmas there. Well, I did. I celebrated both Christmas and New Year in my London home. Like, I wasn't there over the summer. Well, I was. Like, um, you can always tell when I'm there because the police are outside. Well, I've gone out of my way, actually, to say to the Metropolitan Police that I want them to be as unobtrusive as possible. So you can't necessarily tell so, whether so, or not I'm so there are, or not because so there are, are visible clear, okay. police officers outside. Whatever the parliamentary officials say, um, don't you think you've made a mistake in doing this? This is a time when people are losing their homes, people are losing their jobs, as a lot of people are frightened and quite angry about the economic situation, mm. and they pick up the papers, and it's not just you, it's lots of other MPs, different parties and all the rest of it, and there is a strong perception that MPs are using semicolons and, and, and you know, clever sentences in the rules to make more money. Well, I know that that's the situation, which is why I've tried to explain but to people... But isn't it sort true? Of, um, well, I don't, I don't believe that it is, but I do think we therefore have a responsibility to explain, as, I, as I've tried to do with you, Andrew, what the sorts of decisions I've made I can, with my family. I can understand the human the decisions. I... What, what, what I come back to is this perception, um, and it seems to me a justified perception, that MPs are using some complicated rules to make themselves extra money at the public expense. And what I'm putting to you is that the public mood is very, very far away from being happy about that. Yeah, I can understand that, and it's also can very important. Can you do anything about it? If you understand well, it, can you do something well, about it? Well, let me just say personally what I've done. You know, I think it's also very clear in the rules that we should try and achieve value for money. 
I'm actually claiming less this year than I claimed last year, number mm -hmm. one. Secondly, of course, I've been charged, amongst other things, with the fact that I should have moved into a grace and favour apartment as a, a Home Secretary. Well, I have to say, I think this yeah. is probably one of those cases where you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. The, the Home Secretary's grace and favour um, property is actually since I've been Home Secretary, being sold in order to release money for it, taxpayers. And I don't think it would have been cheaper had I moved into Grace and Favour. So I have tried to do what I think is the right thing for the taxpayer, for my ability to do my job as Home Secretary, for my family in terms of where they've lived. I think I've tried to do the right thing. You, and I know there's an appearance thing here. You know, well, David, well, just David a, Cameron... Away from appearance. I mean, if you... If you designated the houses the other way around, you'd have been making about £20,000 a year less. No, that's not true, Andrew. Not true? What, no, what, what, not. What, what would the difference be? Well, let's put it like this. The house in London is a more expensive house than the house in Redditch, just as one example. But you would... So you're saying that you would be making more, you, you, you'd be paid more if you'd done it the other way around? No, I'm not saying I'd be, I'd be paid more because I think it's important, as you say, that we claim um, that, that that is the true cost of us as MPs having to have two homes. That's why we get, that's why we get an we, allowance. Can, but I, can, I, have, can I put something to you? The, the so charge that's a... made of me is that I have tried to maximise mm. the money that I've claimed. Well, I haven't tried to maximise the money that I've claimed. I understand that people feel at the moment, that, you know, things are tough. I'm claiming less money this year than I claimed sure. last year. But I also understand that people want that to, to look as if it's fair, which is why, you know, Andrew, I've been willing to talk mm, to you about sure. my family circumstances. I don't, I don't find that easy, but I understand that people want to know the decisions that I've made and that I've made them for the right reasons. When I start... Not incidentally so that I pass sure. what David Cameron calls the, the Daily Mail test, no, but... but so that I live by the test that I think is important, which is that I've done the right thing, the right thing by my job as Home Secretary, the okay. right thing by the taxpayer, the right thing by my family. When I started out as a journalist, a young reporter, there was a culture of fiddling expenses. Everybody did it. You were almost told to do it. And everybody, you know, claimed more lunches than they'd actually eaten and so on. Is there not a similar culture embedded in Parliament? Everybody does it. Um, and, the, yeah. uh, and, and there are all sorts of little things, and day after day, week after week in the papers, we get more examples of it. And is this not something that has to be cleaned up once and for all? Look, I've never claimed for a lunch, Andrew, just let's be clear about well, that. Yeah, but, okay. <laughs> um, I think, you know, of course, I think as politicians, we actually have to maintain a higher standard than, let's say, journalists, the editors of some of the newspapers that have commented or, or on perhaps us as, than you are doing at the MPs. moment as politicians. I, I think it's important that we are completely open. That's why I supported the changes that we made just last month to make sure that we publish much more information about our mm. expenses than we do now. I think it's right that now, because of the changes that we've made over the last few years, any claim that I make for my living that's above £25, I have to back it up with a receipt. I think all of those things are right. But I also don't think in this country that most MPs of whatever party are on the make. I, okay. I genuinely don't is think there, that. And that's why I also any, think it's right. Is there any right. part of your own uh, behaviour, not the press, or any part of what your behaviour that with hindsight you regret? I, I genuinely don't think there is. Now, I think okay. I've made the decisions Let's, that I think are right. And incidentally, I think it's right that the independent commissioner will judge this. whether or not... You know, I've acted both in the spirit and to the letter of the rules. And I think it's better that the independent commissioner does that, frankly, than that national newspapers do.